A man leads law enforcement on a wild chase across two counties before trying to get away inside a metro mall. And News 9 was on this chase from the sky and the ground until that suspect was in handcuffs. News 9's Christy Lewis is live on the story where it all ended. And Christy, you've got a rough map laid out for us tonight right there outside of the Von Mar. Yeah, Bobby Kelly, I've got this map here just to kind of give you a sense of the ground this guy covered today. He started in southwest Oklahoma City, then went up toward Cashin, and then ended up back here at the Quail Springs Mall. That's the charger right there. We got to one, two, three Oklahoma City police cars. In Behind the wheel of a stolen vehicle, Myron Watson made dangerous moves for miles. He's in the wrong lane right now. Going Jim Gardner in Bob Mills Sky News 9 shows him blowing through busy intersections, neighborhoods, and near schools. Well, he's right by the cash in school now. He's and our ground crews got a sense of his speed as he passed by with police on his tail. Watson would eventually make it to the Quail Springs Mall, running into Von Marr. Kendra Birchfield was trying on clothes inside the store. When I saw the, the officers coming by and their SWAT stuff, I knew it was pretty serious. And, um, you know, was, the goal was either hide in the dressing room or get outside. She says mall officials came over the intercom asking employees and customers to leave. They pull down the screen that they usually do when the mall's closed. Another witness captured Watson's arrest on the opposite end of the mall. His passenger was handcuffed outside. Really hasn't really even settled in yet that, that something like this happened. Um, you know, you see it on TV and you think, oh, that won't happen at our mall or, you know, in our town or to me or to you. And, and uh, yeah, it's just very, very unsettling. Now we checked and found out that Watson does have some previous drug and robbery convictions. Tonight, he is in the Oklahoma County Jail. Live on the scene on the story, Christy Lewis, News 9.